Hello, fit vegans, or soon to be ones. Today, I'm sitting here with Iris, and we're going to be discussing how Iris, number one, stopped her bloating and lost 12 pounds in the last few months of working together. But before I'm getting a little bit too ahead of myself, or I'm already getting a little bit too ahead of myself, uh, Iris, very nice to have you here. Just tell me a little bit kind of about your previous story and how long you have been vegan so far. Yeah, hi. <laughs> um, well, I've been uh, struggling with my um, uh, bloating, bloating of my uh, belly uh, a lot, with a lot of pain. And um, also the people are asking if I was pregnant. So it's not nice. And I started to be uh, to eat vegan the end of 2017. And then uh, it already went better, the, the bloating. So um, yeah, it improved, but still not enough. And uh, yeah, with Florian, uh, we um, worked on it and now it's much better. Yeah. All right, awesome, Iris. So tell me more about your situation before starting the program. You highlighted there quickly before they got the feeling of, of Kind of some people told you that you were uh, you looked like you were pregnant what were your frustration at this moment in time because if yeah i assume you tried a lot uh, to achieve this you also do have kind of like a fitness background so you're a very active person to so tell me more about your uh, frustrations uh, before working together um well the um, uh, the bloating was so bad uh i i tried different things also um mm -hmm eat some stuff not together like carbs not together with protein because yeah the, the working uh, after you ate it um, it is different and can also give some gases or something so I started to eat like um, not not as easy anymore I had, had to think about everything um, I also uh, started to study um about uh i don't know it in english it's orthomolecular uh, uh nutrition specialist also because of the of the bloating and um well it, it didn't still work out properly um i'm a weight consultant i'm a fitness uh instructor personal trainer myself so yeah i, I know stuff but i couldn't help myself <laughs> and then i wanted to have a personal trainer and i was searching for one so I, yeah I, I met florian online um and um he knows a lot you know a lot <laughs> so um i thought yeah you could be the um like add something extra I didn't already know about it and um, you told me you had ways uh, to look into it and maybe um, yeah solve it <laughs> or make it better so yeah so we did right. awesome so there's also saying very good coach needs a coach right and often and having that second pair of eyeballs to look over one situation can really help clarify and give us a deeper understanding of what exactly we need to do to move forward, right? Yeah, yeah. So where have you stumbled upon kind of my work? What was kind of the first time you've, you've seen me? Um, yeah, I found you online. I was just searching for something with personal training and vegan <laughs> so and i couldn't find something uh online here in the netherlands so um and there you were at that time living in panama <laughs> so not really around but um yeah it, it's um the online program is is uh, easy to follow and um no don't need to have the the life um in real life moments um there's like a, a teaching program behind you can learn a lot and uh so i thought i already knew something about um 
eating like a vegan. <laughs> but then I discovered I didn't know uh, a lot <laughs> because you have so much uh, information. So I, I learned a lot. Um, and um, yeah, um, because I, I have like all the tools, like the gyms I work at. So um, yeah, also when it was not possible to go to the gym because of the pandemic, um, yeah, you had all the the practices for or at home or at a gym. So that was really, um, yeah, yeah, no, no big problems or something. Yeah. You found a way to completely customize it to your situation uh, because you kind of also the, the pandemic and you having a, a kind of high work schedule as a trainer. So you do have, you're very busy with all the classes that you teach. So you found a way to make it work for your a unique situation. Um, yeah. Let me ask you right now, I always like to ask that question, uh, kind of in the beginning of us working together, in the beginning of, of us having that call a few months ago, would you have thought that achieving those goals that you right now have achieved, they were possible back then? If I would have told you, hey, Iris, you're going to achieve this a few months from now, your life going to be that way, would you have thought that was possible for you? I hoped it. Mm -hmm. I, um, I couldn't already see it really in front of me uh, because I'm a weight consultant. So I already did something with, with my nutrition mm -hmm. and I just was plateauing. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, um, what to do else? And um, so I thought it would be a longer way, but then in a really short time, I lost a lot. Then I had some personal stuff and I gained, <laughs> but I lost it again. So that's, that's um, yeah, so I'm happy about that. But um, because I already did it once, I knew I could do it twice at that moment. But in the beginning, when I, we had our first um, meetup online, then you asked me about my, uh, the weight I want to be. And then I, I just said something like, okay, maybe that's in my mind. I can make it work. And then I said, what do, what do you really want? So I said a better call and then uh, I reached it. And immediately I set a new goal <laughs> and I reached that, reached that too. So yeah, the, the weight goal is, um, is reached. And now I have another goal goal to more um tone the body yeah <laughs> i think it's also it's also difficult for you because you already know a lot about health and fitness and then having that trust to decide hey look uh, maybe there's another way or an additional strategy and some tweaks that we can do to lose this one faster and more sustainably that always kind of requires a leap of faith kind of in the beginning of kind of deciding to get started with this what kind of pushed you over the edge? I'm curious, what pushed you over the edge when we had kind of that first call together for you to decide, or maybe when you seen the website for you to decide, hey, look, I might be interested in booking a call uh, right now to see what Florin is all about. Do, do you remember, was there a specific thing for you to decide, hey, look, that might be the thing that I need? Well, because I was already turned down by um, uh, an online coach uh, because of being a vegan and she only helps people we are or um, vegetarian or just eat everything i was like really eager to uh, to reach also my goal and let her see like okay i can do this without you so then i was searching online i found you saw some reviews and um because there are not really a lot of um personal trainings trainers like vegans like you online or anywhere here um there was also not not a lot lot of coming up so you you popped up first i saw some reviews and then i thought okay let's make a discovery call and <laughs> see if this is something for me Awesome. So it sounds like you, all, you also had this other trainer, like, I'm going to prove you wrong. We vegans are capable of doing that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. So, uh, Iris, right now you have achieved a goal. You know, you've set new goals for yourself. You know, you, you can't see pushing the envelope. But how is your life different right now to how it was kind of a few months ago right now? So which kind of areas of your life have improved right now and by how much? Tell me more about that. How is your work? Kind of how is your life in general right now from kind of feeling better in yourself, feeling more confident and having a higher amount of self-esteem due to achieving your goals? So tell me more about that. Well, the self-esteem is a really big thing <laughs> because, um, yeah, I, I was like not really certain about my body and not feeling sexy, um, not feeling really like the, the feminine feeling you want to have when you're a woman. Um, so um, I was not looking bad. But because of the, the belly and yeah, at some places, some fat, <laughs> I, I didn't feel sexy for me. So uh, I, for, for me, it was something um, I need to feel better. And also because of the, the bloating and the pain. Yeah, when, when you're bloated, feeling bloated or you have the pain, you can't feel sexy because you're in pain. So it's almost not possible for me it wasn't so improving that was uh, a lot yeah it was a big difference for me and um also could try other clothes on so um just like two weeks ago went to a vintage store uh found a dress i was thinking hmm is this something for me looked at the size well i don't know if it fit in maybe i will look pregnant in it's my, my old mind so then um i tried to, the dress on and i was like okay never want to take it off anymore <laughs> it just was just fitting perfectly no pregnant uh feeling or or belly in the dress so yeah really <clears throat> really really nice um and then yeah, my self-esteem is also growing again because in, in my mind, I'm still uh, like a few months ago. So I have to get used to it, to my new new style. So now when I'm looking uh, of walking around and um, I come in my bedroom, there's a big mirror, I see myself and then sometimes I just pause and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> it's better now. <laughs> and then I have just a little moment of joy, like, yeah, you did it but you just forget so i have to get used to it but i like it it's something i want to get used to it here is these are all really awesome goals that you have achieved and there's a big difference to I remember meeting you right now talking to, with you right now and talking with you kind of a few months back about your situation so tell me if you had a friend or if you knew a person let's say a person is watching this video right now and is struggling with the exact same kind of situation that you have dealt with a few months ago what would you tell that person? Which kind of advice would you give to that person? And which kind of words of encouragement could you give that person that is right now watching that video that might deal or might be currently dealing with the same situation that you were dealing with a few months ago? Tell me more about that. Um, well, I think um, when you're at the point there that you think you have to live with it and nothing can change, uh then you're wrong because it is possible and honest it's going up and down for me because sometimes with bad sleep or more, more stress or eating like something junk food then my belly is going to be bloated again but now i know how to deal with it and i know how it works and it will calm down in a few days and uh, i will be back at a good state so um I think that um, the program really helped me um, to calm it down and um, learned how to deal with it. And um, yeah, I, I really, really appreciate the advice you gave me always thinking with me. I could always put some questions there about how to, to pick something um, up or how to proceed and um it worked for me so it's, it's something i can take along after this program 
and just um, yeah, have it like tools in my toolbox so I can deal with it when it happens again. Right. That's the goal of this all. So it sounds like you know, the what we are kind of talking about, the progress is often kind of like it's fluctuating, but fluctuating in the positive direction. Yeah. So the kind of the, the big picture view, there's progress, but often kind of like on this on the small picture, like day to day, it fluctuates up and down. But the kind of most important thing, which we kind of certainly are seeing in your situation, is that over the kind of big picture, there's a very, very big progress to where you've been a few months ago. So Iris, these were all of my questions that I had for this interview. Just one that I would like to ask you uh, right now is why should someone take action right now? Why should someone, let's say they're watching this interview, they had the same issues that you were dealing with in the past. They think about, hey, yeah, maybe I should book a call sometime in the future. I should make a decision sometime in the future. But what do you, would you tell that person also with your unique perspective as a health professional? Why should that person take action right now to decide to improve their life? Yeah, why waiting uh, with improving your life? Because if you're mm. going to do what you always did, you will have the same results as you always got. So if you want to improve it, um, don't wait because the the better you is just, um, yeah, in, in maybe a few, a few clicks away <laughs> or call with Florian <laughs> away, but, um, yeah, improve, uh, improving um, your health. Why wait? Because you, you will feel better, have more energy. Um, yeah, my, my life did improved. And my daughter was always asking me, mommy, you have a baby in your belly. And now she doesn't ask anymore. And I really like that she doesn't ask anymore. Um, so yeah, it's um, it was really worth it to just do it. So I would re recommend others not waiting with improving with your health goals, because uh, why be better in two years? Um, why it also can start now. All right, awesome. Here, so thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much for doing this quick interview together and you've had amazing results in this program and uh, congrats on achieving that. So fellow Fit Vegans, thank you for joining in for this interview and I'll see you in the next video or maybe in a call very soon. So thank you. Bye-bye.